Ireland's hopes of a medal rested on a young squad, including 19-year-old Martin Quinn. I moved to Belfast and then I joined up with the John Bosco Club in Belfast, um, Freddie Gilroyd's club. Watching Freddie training and we always trying to copy of him and you know he was a South player, he was also left hand as I was a South player. We just watch him and try to throw the same punches he was throwing. You know. After the seniors at Boxing Against West Germany in Dublin and then they picked the Olympic team that Sunday to go to Mexico. And I remember up in my bedroom and um, listening to their small radio I had and the team was being announced. And when I heard my name over the radio, I was, oh my goodness. I came down into, into the we call the kitchen there and, and, and told my mother and father I was going to the Olympic Games, you know, and you know, it was, you know, it was just a, a, a cloud, you know. I went out in the street and was telling my neighbors, I, I'm going to Mexico, I'm going to the Olympics, you know. It was, it was, it was a marvelous experience, you know, to get picked the box for your country. Meanwhile, Marty Quinn got his tournament off to a similarly dramatic start. So it's Martin Quinn of Ireland, the bout at lightweight, his opponent, Asombo Bernard of the Cameroons. Oh, that's two good right hands to Bernard. He's got Bernard in trouble in this first run, belting him away to the body, left and right hand, and Bernard goes down in the corner in the first. He's in awful trouble. When I beat the, the fellow from the Cameroons, that, that gave me a good buzz there and, and a good lift. And then when I was drawn against Grudgeon from Poland, um, J J Jim McCourt knew him well because he was the gold medalist. He, Jim got the bronze in Tokyo that year and, and Grudgeon got the gold. Oh, what a good left hand and he's got the big on the floor at the very end of this bout. It was a cracking punch and I, I look at it and I say, my goodness. And with him being so groggy and falling about and that, he, he was hurt, you know. There can only be seconds to go and Grugin is in trouble from Martin Quinn of Ireland. Even though I did, I did put him down in the third round and, 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 and messed it up by not going to the, the neutral corner quick enough. And I can remember Eddie Thompson telling me he counted um, 18 seconds wasted before I actually, the referee got the count, taking up the count. So, um, you know, when he did get up, he was groggy, he was, Crowds about the referee just waved it in the box, and as soon as I moved in, the bell went. So he was actually saved to the bell, really, you know. Well, despite that knockdown, Grugin is the winner and goes through to the quarterfinals. But what a display by the Irishman!